Hello everyone. For today's form of Friday tip, we're going to be focusing on the shoulder press. And this could be um, with dumbbells or a strict press with a barbell, but I'm going to show you what goes wrong and what we need to do to correct it. I'll start without using the weight. I believe we talked about this before in terms of what our pelvis is doing. Like, is it rocking forward and we have this little duck butt and our butt sticks out? Is it tucked underneath us to where we look like maybe a dog pooping? And we want to find like that nice neutral space. Because what happens for a lot of us when we take our arms overhead, like we have the best of intentions, our core is braced, our ribs and down, our ribs are down, our belly is in, but the minute our arms go overhead, then our butt goes out. <laughs> so hips come under the shoulders and then the hips go behind the shoulders. But we want to keep the hips underneath the shoulders and the core nice and tight the entire time. So like when I'm teaching yoga, because we talk about this in yoga as well, I kind of call this like ugly butt. Out here, my butt looks nice and perky. When my abs are engaged and my pelvis is neutral, it gets a little bit saggy and it's not quite as cute anymore. But we don't care what our butt looks like because we want our back to be safe, we want our core to be strong when we're performing our overhead presses. So I'm using um, my dumbbells, these are 25 pound dumbbells for a shoulder press. So my wrists are in line with my elbows, core is on, navel in and up, tailbone reaching to the ground, I'm going to press overhead. Elbows stop at shoulders, press overhead. Let me show you from the side, notice I've got that ugly butt if you will, overhead, overhead, not, but back, press, press. That's a no-no. Keep that spine long. Core engaged. Now it may not matter. Like if you're only using five pound weights, it doesn't matter quite as much. But as you start to get stronger and you're progressing in your weights and you're, pro you're practicing this progressive overload, which is what builds the muscles, your form becomes even more important. So really watch what your hips are doing when your arms go overhead. Don't aim for a cute butt here. We want a long butt. Long butt as the arms go up. Long butt as the arms go up. So I hope this helps you guys. Safety always first. Good luck and enjoy your shoulder.